Okay, so this video is going to go over all the things you need to know about viscerosomatics for the complex, parasympathetic and sympathetic. I recommend writing this down right when you get into the complex. Um, that way you don't ever have to memorize any of these actual levels. You can just rely on your diagram. Okay, so first step. You draw 14 lines. That's step one. So then step two, after you've driven, written, uh, drawn your 14 lines, you label. Okay, so T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, T7, T9, T10, T11, T12, L1, and L2. So T1 through L2. Okay, that's the second step. Okay, the next thing is you start drawing this pattern, and you're going to draw this pattern the same every single time, and you're going to ultimately be able to just draw this in your sleep, hopefully. Okay, so first, you start up at the very top, you go down four lines. Second, you're going to go down five lines. You're going to skip a line, you're going to skip another line. So these are even these are even, these are one below, one below, and you have one in between that you skip. Okay? Next, you have to remember, you start at five through nine. It's one of the few you actually have to remember. Then you do right below and right below that. So one and two. So that's the first thing is to memorize this. Okay, next thing, transpose this exact thing over here exactly like you see it here. Okay, you're going to skip one down below and draw to the bottom. So all three of these are going to touch the bottom line. These are going to be identical and this is one below the very top. Okay, over here you're going to do a sort of a ladder pattern. It's going to be three lines over here and it's just straight down, straight down like this. Okay, so that's your first, well, that's the part that actually matters. Then you're also going to circle T12, T10, and T12. Okay, so start here, then skip a line, do those two, that, that, that. Okay, that's the next thing that you do. Alright, next is you're going to label all of this. Okay, so the first one is head and neck. Okay, the second one is heart, third is lungs, fourth is esophagus, and upper extremity. You've got upper GI, middle GI, lower GI. Over here, upper GU, lower GU, bladder. Over here, you have uterus and cervix. Here you have erectile tissue and lower extremity, and then you have prostate. Over here you have uh, adrenal medulla and appendix. So you just kind of have to memorize head and neck, heart, lungs, esophagus, upper extremity, upper GI, middle GI, lower GI, upper GU, lower GU, bladder, uterus cervix, erectile tissue, lower extremity, and prostate. And you just kind of have to memorize that. So those are all the viscero, um, sorry, those are all the sympathetics. Okay, so anything that touches the bottom line, so these ones right here, these six, these are, if you're talking about parasympathetics, these ones are all going to be pelvic splanchnic. all of those. So if it touches the bottom line, it's pelvic splanchnic. If it does not touch the bottom line, it's vagus. Okay, so everything else is vagus. If it touches the bottom line, it's pelvic splanchnic.
So those are your um, parasympathetics. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to know. Okay, so as far as what goes into these categories, so you can look at Savarese actually, and it's on page 104. So upper GI, you're going to have stomach, liver, gallbladder, spleen, pancreas, duodenum, and then middle, and then lower. So you can look up this list. It's kind of intuitive. You just kind of have to remember it. Okay, and then as far as... Um, as far as the upper GU and lower GU section, upper GU is going to be your kidneys, upper ureter, and gonads. Lower GU is lower ureter. So I, I've never actually had a problem trying to come up with, you know, what falls into these categories. It usually, it's kind of intuitive. They're not going to, you know, it just kind of works to know what's upper and middle and lower. So as far as nerves and um, ganglion for the GI system. So this is also going to be helpful for you. So this is going to be, so as far as, um, sorry, as far as ganglion, so you've got celiac up here is going to be celiac, celiac. This one's going to be um, superior mesenteric and this is going to be inferior mesenteric. So those are going to be your um, ganglion. So superior mesenteric ganglion, inferior mesenteric ganglion, celiac ganglion. Okay, then you also have nerve, corresponding nerve. So you have, this is going to be your greater splanchnic, this is going to be your lesser splanchnic, and this is going to be your least splanchnic. So greater, lesser, least, celiac, superior mesenteric, inferior mesenteric. Okay, so that can also be helpful. Okay, so that's pretty much all for that. Now, you can actually also incorporate all of your um, Chapman points into this, which can, which is a whole other thing. If you want to do that, um, you can watch another video. Okay, good luck.